Well, this is your devotion for Monday, May 4th. We're looking at Psalm 92, the first four verses and the last four verses. Just quiet your heart, listen to God's word, and just let the themes and the message begin to kind of spill from the scriptures into your heart and hopefully begin to guide your life. Psalm 92, beginning in verse 4. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. To the music of the ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp, for you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. And then jumping to verse 12 at the end of the psalm. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no wickedness in him. I love this psalm, the joy, the passion. I want to share a couple of thoughts that I hope are encouraging to you. One is this, in the psalm, it says to, to give proclamation of God's glory and goodness in the morning and the evening. What a great way to start your day, to wake up and say, God, I remember your faithfulness. I thank you for your goodness. Yesterday, last week, 20 years ago, remembering God's goodness. And then at the end of the day, just to kind of, kind of quiet your heart and your mind, think through your day and say, God, where were you good? Where were you righteous? In the morning and the evening, just quietly lift up your praise to God. And then the psalm says that those who are righteous, who walk in the right ways, will flourish. And there's this picture of these growing, flourishing, beautiful trees. If you want to flourish in your life, ask this question. Am I following God's right paths? The best way to find a flourishing experience is just to stay in the right ways of God's word, of God's truth, of God's spirit. If you want to flourish, walk in righteousness, the right paths of God Almighty. And then the psalm reminds us, let God be your rock. I hope that this day you experience God as your foundation, as your rock. Whatever's happening in our world, whatever's going on in the news, whatever's happening around you to say, my rock is the Lord God Almighty. Lord, that's our prayer, that we would walk in righteous paths, that we would truly see what is right and good and pursue those things. And as we do, that you would just bring this flourishing life into us and flowing through us. And Lord, let us build our lives on you, the rock of our salvation, our solid foundation. God, every morning and every evening and every day in between, you deserve our praise. So let us lift it up to you and give you glory. We pray in Jesus' glorious, powerful, and beautiful name. Jesus, who is the rock of our salvation and the rock on which we stand. May he be glorified in our lives this day. Amen. Amen. Well, today Donna Brown's going to share a few things with you. So just kind of tune into those things and hear about what's happening in the life of your church. God bless you. As we continue to shelter in place and social distance ourselves from others, we have an amazing opportunity to be kind, loving, and stand out as the kind of neighbor others look to for compassion and empathy during these crazy times. I invite you to join us for Pastor Kevin's message, The Good Neighbor, this Wednesday night at Night of Worship, online of course. In his message, Pastor Kevin will look at three main categories of how we can be good neighbors. He'll invite us to pray for our neighbors, care for our neighbors, and ultimately share the story of Jesus and our stories of God's grace and goodness in each of our lives with our neighbors. We'll identify practical ways we can care by serving and helping our neighbors. You'll be introduced to The Good Neighbor, a simple journey to getting to know and love our neighbors. Join us online this Wednesday evening at 615 for this special night of worship. Pastor Kevin's message, and also a time of communion as a church body. We ask that you prepare for this night by having a bit available some crackers, bread, and some kind of juice for the communion portion of this service. We look forward to seeing you Wednesday night at 615. As always, we invite you to reach out to us with your prayer requests. You can email us at prayer at shoreline.church. And if there's anything else that you're asking about or would like to know, we invite you also to email info at shoreline.church and we will get back to you just as soon as we can. Thanks so much.